to page 374. at Harmony Grove Baptist Church will be February the 25th, um, and it's for brothers Brandon Cantrell, brothers Kerry Grindle, Josh Smith, and Richard Wheeler. So again, that's in two weeks at Harmony Grove um, at 2 o'clock. Choir practice? There's no choir practice Not this, this week. Wednesday, but the following Wednesday. So no practice this Wednesday, next, next <coughs> Wednesday? Yeah. Um, choir practice. Any other announcements in the church? So, Matt, it's not for movie night again. Okay. It's the third quarter link or whatever uh, movie night. I'll have all the stuff information next week. It'll either be the end of February or first of March, mm-hmm. and we'll be watching the movie entitled The Hill. Okay. So, it's 
Stay tuned for more information on movie night. Or many other announcements. If none other, we'll go to a prayer request. Anybody have any prayer requests? Yeah, go. She's doing a, a lot better. They took her out of ICU, so she's in her room now. But, uh, they're going to start weaning her off oxygen today and trying to get her. She's got her numbers up above nine. <coughs> so, so she's doing good. She's got three different viruses. She's got two types of COVID and RSV. So being seven months old, it's, it's pretty rough. So we got to keep her and Natalie and Tyler in this prayer. And also, thank y'all for all the prayers. I can really feel Any others? I know Jules had a good week last then. So, <coughs> all the shut ins, of course. Remember William Hughes. William Hughes. <coughs> Any other prayer requests before I move on? No, 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 so we'll go to our birthdays. Today, February the 11th, we've got Bill Lyles. Um, Wednesday the 14th, we've got Mary Yarborough. And that's it for this week. Any birthdays we can ask for anybody? Who are we pointing to? Ginger. I think we just... Yeah, but they got me last week. Yeah, we got her last week, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just feel like later on. <laughs> Brian Smith had a birthday on Tuesday. Brian Smith. Oh, all right, Brian. Right. You want to stand up, Brian? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> Tuesday, all right. Anybody else? If none of us will sing Brian. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Stephanie Woody, and then I've got on the 16th is Nick and Casey Blake. So we'll get them next time. Any others that we've missed? If none others, I'll turn it back over to Russell. Austin. Page 243. While Austin's coming, we'll, uh, we'll go on and take up her offering for the Sunday. Go to the church. Uh, we'll do that. Go to the Lord in prayer. Um, I'd uh, I'd like to ask Ken Wheeler if he'd lead us in prayer. Let's pray, Heavenly Father, Lord, as we come to you today, Lord, we thank you for another day at your house, Lord. As we go through this morning and we take up this collection, Lord, we pray that everything we give will only be used for your honor, your glory. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for coming and dying for, on the cross for us. And these things I ask in Jesus' holy and almighty name.
Let's turn to page 384.
page 444. 444. Offer today is $10,967 and it goes to the church. <laughs>
Yeah. I'd like to say it's good to be here today. Bless you, Fred. It's been a while since I've been up here. But uh, I always get a blessing uh, for coming this way. I was, I listen to a lot of music, gospel music. I don't listen to rock and roll. And uh, I was listening to this song the other day, and uh, something just said, learn that song. And uh, this, I like the message in it, and uh, I can't do it like the premium. The title of it, y'all probably all heard it. The only fire I'll ever feel. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. a place of torment. Yeah, bless you, please. And if you've got the Lord in your heart, that's one place you won't ever have to go. <coughs> so, uh, <coughs> I hope you get a blessing. Thompson, his wife, Joy, they're here. Certainly, we're 
thankful for them being here. Kevin's going to come on and bring a message here in a little bit. If you don't know of uh, Kevin, he, he comes, uh, he's one of the Thompson boys from down there at Long Street. Now, they must be 20 or 30 of them. Uh, there's a bunch of them Thompsons down there. But, uh, Y'all uh, pray for him. And, uh, it's always good to see David here with us. And we thank you for being here. And, uh, we got Ken Wheeler with us. He's uh, uh, the Gideon representative uh, for this uh, area. And uh, we're going to allow him to come ahead and come up and share with us uh, a report from the Gideons. And then at the end of the service, uh, we'll uh, have someone uh, at the doors uh, that you can give a donation if you feel led to the Gideons and if uh, you want to make out a check, uh, make it out to the Gideons. That's all you have to do, just the Gideons. Uh, that'll be uh, sufficient. So uh, we're just going to uh, turn it over to Ken and let him come and present uh, whatever he has on his heart. Hey. God bless you, Ken. Love you, brother. Good morning again. I guess y'all get to see me once again in a year. Uh, I actually talked to Brother. Did y'all get this? Is this for me? <laughs> I was told it was for me. The thing is, well, listen, it's it's <laughs> if you take it, my will won't have it. <laughs> well, we're working on the deal. <laughs> I gotta say, Russ, you've done a great job this morning, man. They had them young people coming up here leading songs. And then he called Matt. And I thought, well, okay, Matt's hair is not gray yet. So he's in that middle spot right there. So he's not old, but he's not young, but he's still there. And he called the other Matt. And then y'all called Fred. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of your time this morning, okay? I've known Freddie Williamson just about my whole life. We've sung together, we've played ball together, we've hunted together. Oh, we, I'm telling you, you remember here, Freddie? You'll be. <laughs> I like putting Freddie on the spot. We go back a long way. He, he's always sing, uh, singing, he played guitar. I, I started learning to play the bass guitar, and we went to church together for, ooh. I just you know, 40 years close to it, I guess. And I didn't I didn't know very much. Freddie, he'd sit over and he'd play, and when he'd switch keys, he'd lean over and tell me where to go next. And I'd move to the next one. And that's how I learned how to play guitar. And we played together for years. And we were sitting there, and Freddie's comes from a, a, a large family. And he's got some sisters that can get into the spirit. And his sister, Nancy, she was into it one day. We were sitting up there playing the guitar. And she got happy, and she wanted to come up there and hug our necks. And she reached around there, and she grabbed old Freddie. Then she reached around there, and she grabbed me, and she pulled us together. Right here her place. <laughs> and it turned into a dead short on those electric guitars. I mean, it just went, uh, 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 uh. You remember that, Freddie? I don't remember a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Some days. Yeah, well, it, was, it was a day I never will forget. I thought, boy, that's what the Lord failed. I yeah, just got yeah. to taste right there. Well, it's all right. But I'm here with the Gideons, and y'all have helped us every year, and I am so thankful for that. Hey, uh, I just want to throw one number out to you this year. I'm not going to. 3,800 Bibles just at our local fair this year. This was an unusual year for me at the fairgrounds. Uh, I was having rotator cuff surgery right before uh, the fair was over with. And people were praying for me. At one time, there was four men standing around me praying that I've only met at the fair over the years, didn't really know these men, but they were praying for me, for my show. And I thought, no, this is an unusual problem. I'm down here to give out Bibles to these kids and older people that needs, needs to know Jesus. These people were praying for me. And I thought, my Lord, what kind of night are we going to have here? As they got finished, it was probably about an hour later, had this little 
Japanese woman come up, and she was with two, uh, a man and his wife. And I, you know, I don't care who put it up. Do you like the Bible? And she looked up at our sign, and she said, oh, the Gideons. She says, I just love the Gideons. I appreciate what y'all do for us. And she walked up, and she said, I want to pray for you. And she says, I'm a missionary from China, or Japan. And she might have said China. And she said, I want to pray for you. And I said, well, thank you. I appreciate it. She said, no. Right here. Right now. She said, what do you need for me to pray for you about? Now, I told her, I said, I'm thankful God saved my soul. I don't need nothing. I said, we're here. All these people, these are the people we want to pray for. Not me, just we want to pray for everybody. And this woman started praying. And man, she could pray. She knew Jesus Christ. <coughs> And I'm so thankful that I got to experience, as I was giving out Bibles, that people were turning from the ways of this world and turning more to God. Yeah. Now, it could be, you know, as you know, our prices have went up, things cost us money, and people know what's going on in this country. But if that's what it takes to get people to turn around, that's what it's going to take. But it was amazing. I had just the, the best time at the fair. Most time it wears me out. My knees hurt so bad when I get done. I'm, not, I'm older than Kevin. And y'all going to find out in just a minute. He can preach for a long time. So there you go. I'll be setting you up, Kevin. <laughs> I went to school with Kevin, graduated with him. Uh, uh, I know him Long Street Boys a long time down in that, down that area, though. But just, yeah, church deacons, thank y'all for letting me come. Yeah, bless you. Kid. Brother Jerry, you know, he's, he's <coughs> part of the family of Cold Mountain and Web, you know, all that bunch. I'm just so grateful to, to know a lot of y'all here. Right. Um, yeah. I just know a lot of y'all. And that really helps when I go to a church that I know people that uh, you can be yourself, you know, uh, and I thank you for it. But we actually, we ran out of Bibles. This is the first year I've ever run out of Bibles. I've always had enough Bibles. And they were calling me, Ken, we're out of Bibles. You can't be out of Bibles. I just brought a bunch up there this morning. Well, we're almost out. So every two or three days, I've taken my Bibles up there. And hey. praise the Lord, hey, we give them out. And yeah. thankful to y'all for helping us that uh, we ran out. So this year, I'm going to order more Bibles than we had last year because I'm planning on a better, better, better time this time than we had last. Nice. Thank you, Brother Jerry. Appreciate it. Bless you. Thank you. Bless your heart, Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Okay. Come on. If you want to sing, you can sing. If you want to preach, preach. Before we go in further, Dave, if you would please, please. Others, we bow in your presence this morning. Lord, we're thankful to be among God's people. Yes. Lord, we've looked around this morning. We saw the pretty flowers and the little wheat that uh, has been set aside for sweethearts and the love that they share toward one another. Oh, Lord, yes. this morning, I want to thank you for loving me. Yes. Lord, and these that are surrounded around without me. God, I'm thankful. Lord, for a Savior that gave his life for a ransom that we could not pay. Yes, so, God, I pray this morning. Yes, Lord, as Kevin comes home, Lord, I, I dare for you wrap, wrap your loving arms of mercy around him. Lord, I know that he's just a man, uh, but he's been called a Calvin. And, Lord, it takes a special effort uh, for that man to reach a place uh, that he can just let go uh, and let the Spirit of God take hold. God, I pray this morning. That's sin and ashes. God, that would prick the hearts of them unbelievers in the house of God today if there be one. That's how we God, I pray this morning. That's give us strength and health and a message. That's how they carry us through another week. That's another journey. That's another battle today. And all that we accomplish, oh God. That's how we give you praise, honor, and glory. For it's in Christ's name that we do ask. That's bless. Hallelujah. Uh, Jerry and Ginger as they come. Amen. 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 Am
Amen. Amen. Church, God, uh, give them souls to their higher edge. Uh, Lord, lead us. God, and direct us. Amen. And thank you, O oh God, we pray for us. In Christ's name we ask. Amen. 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 God bless you. Love you. Love you. Love you. you. Thank you for that good old prayer. So this morning, it's good. What I can feel in the house of the Lord this morning. I can leave here saying that it's been good. But to be in God's house this morning, I. Jerry asked me a question this morning when I first sat down. I said, what do you know any good? I want to tell you all what I know is good. And his name is Jesus. Yeah. Amen. And if you want to know anything about me, I'm going to tell you the best thing about me. A little 11-year-old boy. He's not a strict church. Yes. Well, he's going to convict in my heart. Yeah. Then he saved me. So well, that's yeah. the best thing about me. Uh, it's what Jesus done for me hey. so many years ago. I got up this morning with with uh, Judge Jerry on my heart and uh, a little scripture. Bless him, Lord. Uh, I don't come this way to preach, but I come. To, I don't come not to me. Yeah. I want to come and do what the Lord has for me to yeah. do today, whatever that might be in church. Amen. Just say it. I appreciate uh, the good uncle prayer this morning. And uh, I'm ask all of you, just continue to pray for a little while. I appreciate Ken uh, and uh, the work that the Gideons do. You know, we're all in this together. Yeah. Every one of us, all of us that have been saved by God's sure. grace. We've all got something to do that the Lord may have placed on our heart. Right. It may be just to show up in church, just fill a place on the back. Maybe to throw the arms around somebody, tell them you love them, or go pick up somebody and bring them to the house of God. Yeah. We never know. But the Lord knows all about that. We serve one uh, that's got all the answers to everything that we stand in need of today. We may look a lot of times on the ways of man and the ways we think might be the best, but God is the way. Yeah. He is the best, and if we'll follow that of the Lord, uh, He'll lead us. I, I've been, I told Jerry, I think he said, uh, how long has it been since you've been here? I'm going to say I've never been here. But I like what I feel on the inside of my heart this morning. I've been off maybe pastor for about the last 21 years. Uh, and the Lord's given me a little bit of freedom uh, this year to travel around. And I went with this in church. If I don't say nothing at all today, I want you to help me pray for this. I says, Lord, if there's somebody that needs to be saved and I need to go and preach a message that it might sow a seed or whatever you'd have for me to do. That's what I want yeah, to do. And church, right. let me ask you, uh, I feel like you're a praying church. Let me ask you to pray. Just from the bottom of your heart as yeah. we go out on our little journey that the Lord might can bless. And if you're, if you're here today and never been saved by the grace of God, ain't it a good day yeah. for you to be saved? The Bible said today is the day of salvation. Today could be your day. Sure. As I've already said, I remember my day, and it's a day that I'll never forget. Amen. What the yeah. Lord done for me that night as a little 11 year old boy. So, if you here this morning, uh, the Lord deals with your heart. Uh, I beg of you uh, this morning that don't wait till I quit or whatever. Uh, but if the Lord's a bit you, you, you follow that that God would have for you yeah. to do. You can leave here saying that it's been great to be in the house of God today. So, let's all just uh, pray for the bottom of your heart for a little while this morning. But uh, I thought of this verse this morning that. I may read more than I thought I would this morning, but uh, y'all pray uh, for me. And I'm not as bad as Ken says I am. I'm not. I'm not all that long a lot of times. So, uh, but I, I, what I want to do is just follow what the God would have for me to do this morning. The 13th chapter of the book of Matthew. Uh, those of you that want to read along with us, uh, uh, that, that's where I want to be at this morning. 13th chapter. I, I, I don't know. I'll read a good bit of it this morning. Uh, but I want you to listen to the reading of God's Word. It says, The same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside. And great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. 
I want y'all to picture that this morning, maybe with your little mind's eye. Picture Jesus there, maybe went into that ship, and that great multitude stood there on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. Yeah. I thought that would be a good place to stop this morning. And uh, but I want to read just a little bit further if I can. And y'all pray just from the bottom of your heart this morning. And, uh, and the fourth verse reads like this. When he sowed some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. And some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth. And forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among the thorns, and the thorns choked, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came unto him and asked us, What speakest thou this in parables? And why speakest thou to them in parables? And he answered and said to them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Therefore speak I at them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the, the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. For the people's heart is wax grows, and their ears are dull of hearing, and they have closed their eyes, lest at any time they should see with their eyes with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their hearts and should be converted and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes. That's enough to shout over right here. But blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired, desired those things which ye see and have not seen and to hear those things which ye do hear and have not heard them. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When any one heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. These, this is he which receives seed by the wayside. But he that received the seed of stony places, the same is he that heareth the word and anoint with joy receive it. Yet he hath not rooted himself, but dureth for a little while, and when Tribulations and persecutions arise because of the of the word. By and by he is offended. He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and cares of the world and see the deceit and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unfruitful. But he that receives seed of the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit. And bringeth forth some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some sixtieth, and some thirty. That's all that I feel like reading you here in this morning. And y'all pray, if you will, from the bottom of your heart this morning. And uh, my desire would be each and every time, seem like when I stand, that uh, I might uh, get my old self out of the way. This old yeah. flesh, uh, a lot of times, a hindrance from uh, falling into the hands of the living God this morning. But uh, church, let's all pray from the bottom of our heart that uh, the Spirit might come on the scene yeah. and deliver what we all bless, stand in need of today. And, uh, but if I had a starting place and I had a verse uh, there uh, that I wanted uh, maybe to leave in your mind would be uh, the one little verse that I, the little thought that I have was behold, a sower went forth to yeah. sow. And I want bless you to think Lord. about that this morning. And, and I want you to think about where you may 
can't stand without the Lord this morning. Uh, and I thought about uh, there maybe in the beginning of time when uh, uh, the Lord created the heavens and the earth. And uh, there He created the trees and He created uh, uh, the seeds for each tree. Uh, after its kind, He created the grass. He uh, created the seed after its kind. Uh, he created all things that we see today uh, on the outside uh, the trees and the plants. Uh, he created them uh, uh, there. Uh, uh, they would come forth uh, and bring forth out of the seed of itself uh, and it fall into the ground uh, uh, there and die uh, and bring forth out of fruit uh, and out of another tree uh, uh, begin to grow. Uh, I want you to think about that this morning. Uh, and I want you to think about uh, uh, listen to me. I know that we all know uh, uh, there, uh, uh, those of us that's ever done any sowing uh, or any planting. Uh, uh, listen today if you will uh, uh, there uh, in order for that seed to grow, uh, it's going to have to have a little sun to shine on it. It's going to have to have a little water uh, to be watered. Uh, it's going to have to have a little ground uh, there to be planted in. Uh, we all know that uh, in order for that to grow. Uh, listen to me. Uh, we may think on the natural side uh, how bad uh, the plants grow, uh, how bad the uh, garden grows, uh, how bad the sower uh, of our souls, how uh, hard it begins to grow. Uh, but listen to me this morning. Uh, think about uh, uh, God's creation. Uh, uh, there. Uh, uh, listen to me. Uh, it was His plan uh, uh, from the beginning. Uh, uh, we'll try to get in that. Uh, uh, there just a minute. Uh, uh, but I want you to think about uh, uh, that things that God has created. Uh, uh, there to grow. Uh, uh, listen to me. Uh, uh, but I want you to get on your heart. Uh, uh, listen. Uh, I'll tell you uh, uh, this morning. Uh, uh, there. Uh, it seemed to me uh, uh, maybe for uh, a, long, a long time and even this year. Uh, do you remember uh, when the Lord saved uh, that out of your soul? How uh, that you wanted to tell uh, somebody uh, what God had done for you? Uh, listen to me uh, there. Uh, I still love to tell uh, what the Lord done for me. Uh, I still love to tell it uh, because as I've said, uh, it's the best thing that ever uh, happened to me. Uh, listen to me uh, there. Uh, uh, that uh, as a part of sowing, uh, uh, so to speak. Uh, and listen, uh, my desire uh, uh, today uh, is that I might see a uh, lost and a dying world saved. Uh, uh, that's my big uh, uh, desire. Uh, I love to see people Jerry, uh, uh, saved by the grace of God uh, uh, more than anything in this world. Uh, I've been able to be blessed uh, to travel to different places, uh, uh, different countries. Uh, I've been to Alaska uh, and I've seen the beauties there uh, uh, that my eyes can see. Uh, uh, but nothing to me is no more prettier uh, than a old man, woman, boy, girl uh, uh, standing up uh, and saying the Lord uh, has saved my soul. Uh, and brother, let me tell you what. A sower went forth to sow. Yeah. I, I want you to picture a little sowing man. Listen to me. I thank God for every preacher that he's ever called to preach out of the gospel. And I tell you, I believe that's a sowing process. And a day when a little man of God stands up and begins to maybe preach the word of the Lord, I begin to maybe think there about there him a sowing to see as they begin to go out. Uh, listen to me today. Uh, I read there and you hear it. Uh, where uh, some fell by the wayside. Uh, there, uh, and the fowls of the air, uh, they devoured them up. Uh, some fell, the Bible said, uh, upon stony places. Uh, there, uh, where they didn't have much earth. Uh, and when the sun was up, uh, they dried up. Uh, listen to me. Uh, and I read there, uh, where some fell among the thorns. Uh, there, uh, and the thorns uh, uh, choked them out. Uh, there. You may think, well, that man's seed, they ain't doing no good. He's done throwed them seeds down. There. Listen, and you want to think of it like this. That was 75% of their seed that he threw down. And they all there, fell in a place. They wouldn't know it. They didn't do no good. They all bring nothing up. They didn't have no fruit about them. And I tell you what, you may think today, well, that's a good time. Uh, for the sower, uh, uh, just to call it quits. Uh, but let me tell you what, church, uh, listen to me. Uh, we 
we may think, well, uh, we don't see as many saved as we used to in days gone by. Let me tell you what, today, uh, God can still save, and He can save just as many right. uh, great numbers uh, uh, there. Uh, but let me tell you what, uh, uh, that sore, uh, uh, there, even though He had thrown that many seeds, uh, and that of them found uh, that of a lodging place, uh, he kept on the soul yeah. in the journey. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people today who uh, want to give up uh, uh, there. Uh, but let me tell you what. Uh, uh, there was a uh, proceeding gentleman, uh, so to speak. Uh, I don't know why we're going this way this morning. Uh, uh, but he kept on the soul in uh, uh, there. Uh, and the other 25% of uh, uh, the Bible said uh, uh, they fell uh, uh, there in the good ground. Uh, yeah. And they received the word uh, uh, out of the heart. Uh, and they brought forth fruit. Uh, uh, some 30, uh, uh, some 65. Uh, some a hundredfold uh, they brought forth fruit uh, you may say uh, oh, what's that got to do with us today uh, let me tell you what uh, there uh, the time uh, there uh, the Lord intended uh, I don't know how much longer uh, this whole world uh, is going to last uh, but I'm glad uh, that he's still calling me uh, to go out and sow uh, and to work there in his field uh, there now listen uh, there uh, Paul said uh, maybe in one place over there I have a planet uh, and a Apollos have watered, uh, but God has given them yeah, grace. Yeah. Uh, we that plant her nothing, uh, we that water her nothing. Uh, but it is God uh, that gives the increase yeah. today. Uh, listen to me. I read there in your hearing uh, there about uh, the parable of the sower. Uh, and the Bible saying uh, there uh, the words of read of Jesus uh, uh, saying uh, he that had the ears to hear. Uh, listen to me now. Yeah. Uh, you go over in the book of Revelation, uh, you'll find there are seven churches over there. And, there, and he told them uh, the same thing uh, seven different times. He that hath ears, uh, let him hear what the Spirit is saying uh, to the churches. Uh, let me tell you what church I believe uh, with all of my heart. Uh, listen to me. Uh, if we'll follow God uh, and follow the Spirit of the Lord, uh, uh, there's some fruit ahead. Uh, and brother, I tell you what, uh, listen to me. Uh, the Lord's let me plant just a little uh, from time to time, uh, naturally speaking. And I know uh, there, uh, the springs are coming up uh, the time of year uh, when we'll get our garden ready uh, and we'll get ready to go to plant. Uh, there, uh, let me tell you, uh, there, uh, and have we throw them seeds, uh, maybe we drop them uh, there in a row or whatever it is. Uh, there, I don't know if you're as bad as I am, uh, but uh, I like to go out there. Uh, I like to walk up and down uh, and I like to see uh, if any yeah. things are coming up. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you, and then after a while, uh, you'll see. Uh, that may be in a row uh, the pretty uh, the plants may be coming up uh, and you'll rejoice uh, that there are in them plants uh, that are that's uh, coming up uh, let me tell you today uh, listen to me uh, it's the same way spiritually I love to see uh, people in the house of God I love to see them uh, coming up I love to see them growing uh, in that of the spirit of the Lord uh, I love for people uh, today uh, listen uh, uh, God uh, I'm glad today uh, that he knows we're each and every one of us stand. Uh, 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 listen, uh, uh, behold, a uh, uh, sower went forth to sow. Uh, uh, there, uh, he didn't give up, uh, even though all of them seeds uh, uh, there, uh, he began to sow uh, out along the way. Uh, and along uh, uh, there in that field, uh, uh, there, uh, and listen to me, uh, uh, those brought forth fruit. Uh, and I thought about this, uh, uh, there, uh, as I thought about it, uh, uh, maybe in the book of Genesis, uh, over there when uh, uh, God first uh, uh, created the trees and the seeds, uh, he also also created seasons uh, and he created years. Uh, uh, there, uh, and it would continue uh, uh, one after another uh, as a seed would fall out of a tree uh, or from the other plant uh, uh, there uh, in the earth uh, and it began to grow up uh, uh, one season after another uh, and it would continue uh, uh, there to go on. Uh, and I tell you what I believe uh, with all of my heart uh, uh, God's people, uh, uh, those who grow the fruit, uh, uh, know the spirit of God, uh, they will just draw uh, uh, listen, uh, our hearts close to that of God. He wants to sow it in these churches today and it'll be the same way today and it's always meant to be that we might be sow in the house of the Lord and that we might reap from that of the harvest. I thought about this. Listen, I've got two precious grandkids but one of them is fixing to be two and the other is fixing to be seven year old. And listen, they've been brought to church all their life and I I thank the Lord uh, for that. Uh, bring it up in the house of God. Uh, but listen, uh, there's so many more that's not being brought up uh, in the house of 
Master God, uh, let me tell you today, uh, listen, uh, you may be a part of this seed growing. Uh, let me tell you, uh, Larry, uh, you may have a job to do. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, you may say, where are you going, preacher? Brother, I tell you what, I feel good this morning, but let me tell you, uh, can I tell you, I don't usually share uh, nobody's testimony much, uh, but the old preacher man's been dead for years and years, uh, and i never forget a uh, Saturday uh, morning at Long Street Baptist Church. Uh, he wasn't a member there, uh, but he was a visitor, uh, and there, uh, he'd tell his testimony uh, every year. Uh, there, uh, there, every time we'd have that service, uh, he was, uh, there, he'd have to jump up and He'd tell you that. And brother, I remember that just by heart. It just tickled out of my heart. It tickles my heart today to hear people's testimony. Yeah. Those that have been saved by the grace of God. But I'll never forget his. He was out in the field. He was a nine-year-old boy out there in the field. They were working with some other boys back in the days of the wagon. And they were working there in the field. And revival time had come. And he said the men there that worked in the fields, uh, they'd come with that wagon uh, there for the boys, uh, uh, 10 years old and upward. Uh, uh, they'd take them uh, to revival meeting in the morning. Uh, uh, there. And he said, I was just nine years old that right year. And he said, I didn't figure I'd get to go. Uh, but let me tell you what, I'm a hold of sore with forth to sow. Uh, let's take me today. Uh, them men that had that wagon uh, and had them horses, uh, uh, there, uh, they come by. Uh, that the low field. Uh, there he said, they looked at me uh, and said, how old are you, son? Uh, he said, I'm nine years old. Uh, and he said, I didn't think I'd get to go that year uh, yeah. uh, because I wasn't 10 yet. Uh, but the man said, uh, you're old enough. Uh, just get on in here. Yeah. And brother, today, uh, there ain't no age on salvation. Uh, brother, yeah. if the Lord convicts your heart at six years old, uh, and that's when you need yeah. to be saved. Yeah. If you die in that lost condition uh, at six years old, uh, you'll go to hell. As a six year old, uh, let me tell you, uh, that's just Bible uh, and that's just truth. Uh, but he said, uh, I was tickled to death uh, to get on that wagon. I uh, said, I got on that wagon uh, with all them teenage boys. Uh, uh, there, the rest of them that were there uh, and said, We got on the back rows of the church. I uh, said, There's a couple of rows there uh, of us kids. Uh, we sat there on the back row. Uh, and he said, The man got up and preached, uh, uh, sowing the seeds again. That's something we ought to be thankful for. Uh, but for the prophets, uh, they wanted to see the things uh, that them disciples have seen. Uh, they wanted to hear uh, the things that they heard uh, from the mouth of Jesus. Uh, uh, picture him on that boat, uh, uh, teaching the people uh, in the parables. Uh, uh, there. Uh, but there's a little man of God. Uh, he said, stood there and began to preach. Uh, and he said, I wasn't lost when I got there. I uh, said, I was just tickled to uh, uh, sit on the back row. Uh, and he said, when they give an altar call, uh, uh, there. Uh, he said, the boys on my road, uh, they begin to run out the door of the church. Uh, uh, and he said, I looked down, uh, and he said this with plain day. Uh, he was a little short man, uh, had a little funny laugh about him. Uh, I guess that's why I caught the teacher, uh, that little old boy there in Long Street. Uh, uh, there, uh, he began to jump up uh, and begin to chuckle. Uh, and he said this, uh, he said, my bait uh, caught on fire. Uh, yeah. And he said, there's a flag coming down through there, uh, headed right toward me. Yeah. And he said, I read that altar uh, there, and the Lord saved my soul. Amen. That's when he began to jump uh, there till he had uh, and then he said, uh, oh, when the Lord saved him, I uh, said he didn't wait on the wagon ride. Uh, he said, I started running toward home uh, there, uh, down the little old dirt road. Uh, he said, Mama was out there hanging clothes. Uh, and said she heard my feet coming uh, there. And then she threw me and she said, Mama, uh, begin to shout uh, before I got there. Uh, let me tell you, I believe with all of my heart uh, that mama uh, was down a praying uh, yeah. uh, for her son uh, yeah. uh, today. Uh, listen, church, uh, uh, that we pray uh, for a lost and a dying world uh, like we need to. Oh, uh, we need to be falling them out every day. Uh, uh, listen, don't take this wrong today. Uh, it's bad when somebody gets cancer. Uh, it's bad when they get this disease or that disease. Uh, uh, but there's a sickness going through the land today. Uh, and brother, there's a remedy for it. Oh, and his name is Jesus. Jesus. Uh, 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 listen, uh, and he can cure everything uh, that you stand yeah. in need of. Uh, he can save that old soul. Uh, there's nobody else to call on. Uh, 
I remember calling, uh, asking my mom. Uh, uh, my grandpa was a preacher at that time. Uh, uh, our daddy was a preacher. Uh, uh, our later on, uh, uh, my grandpa was a preacher. Uh, uh, there, when I went to mama, uh, uh, there, uh, as a 11 year old, uh, and I said, Mama, uh, 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 when will I be saved? Uh, how will I know? Uh, uh, there, uh, Jerry, her answer was, uh, uh, Son, you'll yeah. just know. Uh, yeah. uh, you'll just know. Yeah. Uh, there, uh, I thought, What kind of answer is that? Uh, there, uh, listen. And that's when they listen. I believe. I thank God that they carried me to the house of God, where there was a little sewing going on around the little church, where a tall man of God stood up and preached the gospel. That he got hot enough to bring conviction out of my soul. Oh man, listen. There, a sowing his seat. I don't remember. There, I heard young. Blood was the one that preached tonight. Uh, they been Tommy Estes. Uh, uh, there's a pastor over there. Uh, uh, there uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, I don't hit it here a word of that. Uh, uh, call, uh, a young blood said that night. Uh, I didn't hear a thing that he said. Uh, uh, but there was another speaking to me uh, down on the inside of my heart. Uh, I believe uh, uh, Paul was a father in the Spirit of God. And he was a soul of them seeds. Uh, uh, listen to me today. Uh, uh, and I. Uh, I'm glad for I get for you. Yeah. There you go. Yes. Like you know, we got a lay men talker about the Long Street. Had one. A lot of them white headed women. They'd gone over to be with the Lord. <laughs> but I can still see them standing up. I can still yeah. see them shouting. I can still hear them. They got a lot of sewing. But they're not, I'm not talking about a quilt or any kind of clothing. <laughs> I'm talking about down on their knees, yeah. uh, stood uh, uh, their little part, praying uh, for those uh, that were around the mouth that was lost, uh, praying for them uh, there, uh, to be saved uh, by the grace of God. Uh, Carl preached that night. I didn't hear a word that he said. I uh, made my way to an old-fashioned altar uh, there, uh, and got saved uh, by the grace of God. Uh, it's not uh, a grand story uh, like the one uh, there. Uh, listen, uh, the went on the wagon uh, uh, that saw the fire on the bank. Uh, it was maybe a grand story as him. But I'm just as much saved today as he is. Yeah. Uh, because of what God did. Yeah. It's fine, Jerry. I wouldn't trade it for nobody yeah. in the world. But uh, what God gave me. Uh, and brother, it's enough to shout over us uh, when I leave this walk of life. Uh, I got a better home awaiting on me. Uh, because some man uh, at some church, uh, they continued to sow some seed. Uh, and some fell in the way. Uh, I heard one one time say, uh, uh, well, we didn't have too good of a revival. Uh, uh, we didn't have but one saved. Uh, but the one they had saved uh, was a great preacher uh, that stood up and preached. Uh, and many and many uh, were saved by his preaching. Uh, uh, the day uh, the Lord can take it. Uh, he can multiply. Amen. We'll just trust in him. Yeah. There, I tell you, oh Carl, when we left there that week of revival, uh, it's about by a bunch of us. Uh, I went to see uh, last week I went to visit Sylvester uh, over there at Mayfield and, uh, and we talked just a little about it. Uh, there, there's most of us in that Sunday school class that uh, was saved uh, there, uh, that Sunday. Uh, there, and I believe uh, there in that pool that Sunday uh, Sylvester made mention of that. Uh, there was five of us uh, that told the preacher calling. Uh, he said there's five preachers in there uh, baptizing us. Uh, and then there was five boys in there uh, uh, they told their preacher calling uh, uh, our later on. Uh, 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 listen, uh, I think that God uh, is going to continue these seeds and seeds yeah. uh, and then it continue to grow. Uh, uh, if we'll hold on to God's unchanging hand. Uh, uh, you want to go back? And, I'll try to hush him just a minute, I promise you. Uh, uh, but listen to me. Uh, uh, think about uh, this now. Uh, 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 God, uh, uh, we all know the story of Noah. Uh, we all know how it was. Uh, when it rang the 40 days and 40 nights uh, and all the man was full of water. Uh, there they covered all the mountains, uh, all the trees, uh, and all the plants, uh, and every living beast, uh, and every man and woman uh, uh, died there except for Noah. Uh, uh, there in his family. Uh, uh, but listen to me. Uh, uh, there, when that, uh, uh, there at the end of uh, uh, that story, uh, uh, listen, you'll find uh, uh, there, baby, uh, uh, there, uh, when, uh, what do you think about what the world may look like yeah. there? And water had covered every plant and everything that God had made. How it must have looked, how devastating yeah. it must have looked uh, out across there with everything they had hit him. What did Noah do? 
there in just a little while, I believe the second time, he took that old dove and he let her go. Yeah. Uh, there, that dove flew off and he came back and what did it have in his mouth? Yeah. Had to have an olive leaf in his mouth. It was continuing to go like God had promised over there in the book of Genesis. Uh, uh, let me tell you what today. Uh, uh, let's just hold cloud close as we can uh, to the unchanging hand of God. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but I love for my grandkids uh, and I love uh, uh, for other grandkids uh, uh, to hear the same gospel uh, that I got to hear. Uh, I'd love to see a man up uh, uh, truly, uh, uh, truly uh, uh, sowing the word of the Lord. Uh, uh, a lot of them today, listen, somebody may get mad at this year, but, uh, but let me tell you, uh, there's a lot of them today, uh, in it for money, and in it for wealth, uh, in it for great numbers, uh, and brother, uh, and I believe this, uh, uh, there's not a whole lot of spiritual growing uh, going on. Uh, they may be growing great in numbers, uh, uh, but brother, let me tell you what, uh, uh, listen, uh, I thought uh, if it just be one saved, if I could help just one this year, uh, how great that would be. Uh, today, uh, uh, rather than multiple multitudes and multitudes of people, not to have nothing, just on what some other man told them. Well, right. I'm glad it didn't take no man coming up to me when I was saved. I didn't have to take a man coming to me and say, repeat this prayer, uh, do this or do that. I tell you what, the Lord, just as I was lost, that lost, I'll never forget that convicted feeling of that lost. Just like that feeling was, there's another feeling come that was better than I could still feel yeah, today. Yeah, and that was more to save my soul. And brother, he put a joy in my heart. Now listen, this old preaching road gets tough sometimes. But brother, I like it. Maybe when I can draw close yeah. to the Lord and be able to feel that in His presence. How good that it is today. You know, there's no other name given unto Him or man should be saved. Other than the name of that of Jesus Christ Amen. today. Sower went forth to sow. That would just be a little old thought. I'll push. That would be a little old thought that I'd love to leave you this morning. Behold, a sower went forth to sow. It may look like things is tough and things gets rough along the way. But thank God there's still men like y'all's pastor. I love him. And I know he's the sower in the word. Uh, the men is still going out and sowing and sowing the word of the Lord. Amen. I tell you what I believe with all my heart. Church, if we just continue to draw close together, pray for you, little man of God. Just pray for him with all of your heart. Yeah. And there'll be some sowing done around this church. Yeah. You'll get the bar some Amen. food around here. Ain't nothing no better than a church bar full of fruit. I hush this morning. I I could I, I, I could get on the fig tree or so much more this morning. <laughs> But let me tell you what, I'm glad that God is still in the saving business. Yeah. He knows what we stand in need of. Think about this. I'll leave this thought with you and I'll turn it over to the jury. You know, as much as I'd like to see somebody saved, as much as we'd like, uh, all of us would no doubt would love to see somebody saved. Yeah. What do you think God and Jesus thinks like? They really want to save today. I believe that with all my heart. Yeah. They want people to accept Him and believe right, on the precious Son of yeah. God. He knows truly what's awaiting on them that turn the Lord away. Those that turn the Lord away. Freddie, I appreciate that song. I've heard it several times. Amen. The only fire that I could ever feel is burning right there in the Amen. But there is a fire burning today. And it's an everlasting fire that of hell. Yeah. And people, the Bible goes and gives a description there, maybe toward the end of who's in that place. It'll take the whoremongers, the liars, the adulterers, it'll list a whole bunch of them. But right down on the bottom is the non believers. That's right. Those that failed to believe on Jesus when he spoke to that other heart and turned him away, they'll also be there. Amen. Love you. I appreciate you this morning. All right. Thank you for your prayers. I'll turn it back over to you. Rough, if you would, y'all come with a song. Kevin, you come out here. Uh, they, they've been some souls. Went on here this morning, and uh, as Kevin brought the message, and then he touched on Noah and the ark. Uh, I, I go back to Wednesday night when Billy came and uh, shared with us about the ark, 
And, and the Lord give me this little thought as I sat there. We heard about a young boy, a nine-year-old boy, getting on the wagon to get to church. He didn't have it this way. He got on the wagon to get to the ark. Amen. The ark. That's where you're safe at. That's where you can be safe. So get on the ark. So that you can be saved. If you're here this morning and you're lost and undone, and, and you know in your heart that if you take your last breath, that you would lift your eyes on the devil's hell, I encourage you to come to this altar and ask Jesus to save your soul. And he can take you and promise you and shield you so that you will enter in to heaven one day. So while we stand and sing, Kevin, you come out, Russell, what's your number? If you're here and you don't know this Jesus that you've heard about, the seed that's been sown this morning, if you don't know Jesus, come to this altar and ask him to save your soul. While we sing, page 545.
Sunday Baptist Church when Bud Shepherd was a, pre a pastor and he preached that Sunday. I mean that Thursday morning that I was saved and I just want to thank God for saving me. Amen. He always answers my prayers no matter what I'm going through. I get mad sometimes. I want him to hurry up and answer them. But thank God he answers them right on time. Amen. I just thank God for saving my soul and I'll have a home in heaven one day. Amen. Yeah. Who else? Love to hear the testimony. Yeah. Can I share one more thing? Yeah. Don't mean to drive them, but it's paces in the morning. One of the church I pastored, they have what's called a roll call. Now, I'd never heard of that. I didn't know what in the world to do. Uh, let them up the cart, call names on the roll, and you say, President, here. That's the way they used to do it. But he said, today what we're going to do, and uh, well, the church went down inside like a lot of them, and he said, we're just going to start over here. And they started over there, and he said, we're just going to go to every individual that's a member, and if they want to tell when they can save, they can do that. That's what we're going to do, roll call. I'll never forget that. The greatest roll call. I know a young lady had ever been in. She said, on this side, we started over here. And went to every individual. And they told her testimony, those that belong to the church, or some just said, I thank the Lord for saving me. I'm glad to be a member of this church. A lot of them said that. Went down that side, come back down this side. One lady on the front there, she was seven months pregnant. She looked up, she said, I've never been saved. Oh, yeah. Can I? I said, You most certainly can. You know that can. Yeah, she yeah. got up our Pregnant at all. Yeah. Got saved by the grace of God that time. Uh, we kind of had our boy, we were baptized down the edge of the road there on the corner in a big creek. And so we had a couple of men, her, dad, her father, uh, to hold her by the arms because she was seven months pregnant. Yeah. And took her down in the water there about trial. But I'll never forget that road call. But I've said that to say this there is coming a road call one day yeah. after a while. That's the truth. If your name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, yeah. you're going to have to bow your head to God when He says, Depart from me, I never knew you. Yeah. And He'll cast you into everlasting darkness. Hey. I got Bible to back that up for you. Yeah. And if the Lord's dealt with your heart today, as Jerry's already said, today is the salvation. Step out and try the Lord. I just yeah. felt like saying that this morning. Amen. Yeah. Hey. Mm -hmm. Sing another verse, brother. Thank you.
All hearts and minds are clear. I have to say something. Bless your heart, Joy. No. First time I've been in, but the Lord's impressed me to tell my testimony. Bless the man I need to hear it this morning. Um, me and Kevin was married when I got saved. Yeah. Uh, we was going through some hard times and with our marriage and you know, we was about to call it quits, but I didn't I didn't want to I didn't believe in getting a divorce. But the main thing that was wrong with me is I never been saved. I went up when I was younger and I told them I was saved and got baptized. My grandpa baptized me, it wouldn't take nothing for that, but I was I went down the center and come up. Yeah. And well, I still true. wasn't saved. And then I realized later on that I, I was lost. I've been singing at a four mile church one night and conviction hit me. And um, I was shaking so bad and everybody was looking at me. And I, Kevin was outside because our kid, was, our child was acting up and he went outside. And, uh, but I wouldn't go up that night. I let the devil talk me out of it. I left there, still lost. Kevin knew something was wrong with me because he, he said, what's wrong with you? I got in the car and I said, uh, I wouldn't say nothing. And then went, up, went along for, I was miserable for two or three weeks and then had revival. It was a huge service at Bethlehem Church. and. They gave me all the call and I couldn't stay, I couldn't say, I told Kevin, I said, I'm lost, I need to be saved. And the Lord saved me that night. Yeah. And I would I thank God for it because I don't know where I'd be today. I mean, Kevin's got our 40th wedding anniversary coming up in April. I thank God for him and I thank God for my, my family, my yeah. kids, my Amen. grandkids. I just love them so much. If there's someone here lost, I pray, Lord, if you don't turn away. Amen. Bless you, Joy. Aren't Amen. you glad for that period of grace that the Lord gave you from the time he knew until you finally give in and took that step? Amen. Right now might be the only <clears throat> extension of grace that you get, lost person. It might be the only extension that you'll ever get. This might be your only opportunity to be saved before it's too late. What are you going to do with it? Amen. Anybody else got anything at all? Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. We love you from the depth of our heart. And, and do something good for somebody that's coming with you. Love each other, be kind one to another. And I'm gonna ask uh, a couple of these deacons or one or ever, how y'all wanna handle it, if you wouldn't go to the door uh, to take up the collection for uh, the Gideons. And I'm gonna ask Ken if he would to go back and to uh, stand with them. I'm gonna ask Kevin to go back and stand at the door. Uh, so whenever you go out the door, uh, have your right hand ready to shake hands and have your money in your left hand to give the donation to the giddy. Amen. Pretty easy. Yeah. Right hands to shake it, left hands to give the money for the giddy. So uh, we love you. Thank you again for being here. Uh, and we just lost person. You're here. So whenever we dismiss. Why don't you turn and come this way instead of going <coughs> that way? It's not too late. Just because we have a dismissal prayer and say amen, it's not too late. It's not too late. But if you reject Christ, you're saying amen to your own condemnation. Amen. That's where you're at today. That's where you're at. So you choose wisely whether you go back out into the world or you come uh, to where 
uh, you can receive Christ as your Savior. All hearts and minds are clear. Kevin, if you would, if you'd go back, Ken, if you'd go back. Uh, again, thank you so much for being here. Vestors, thank you for being here. Uh, we're so uh, glad to have each and every one of you come back all that you can. And uh, just pray one for another. Amen. Pray one for another. Nothing else. I'm going to ask Matt Mark if he would dismiss us this morning. Sweet service you give us today. Yes. Lord, thank you for each visit of these men that's come this way today from the special singing to the Gideons, Lord. We're just thankful for the work they do, Lord, and just help us uh, always be mindful of them and pray for them, Lord, as they're out there working for thee. God, I just pray that you go with us, Lord, to give us a good week, Lord, for the ones, if there's ones here that don't know you and free part of sin, I pray they be safe for us everlasting. Yes. Lord, be with our shut in all the ones that aren't able to be here with us. Lord, I pray that you give them a good day. Lord, be with uh, Kevin and appreciate the message he brought today. Yes, Lord, Lord bless him. And precious wife, Lord, thank you for Jerry and Ginger and be with them this week. Lord, and be with each one. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.